Okay, in this video, we are going to build on what we learned last week with value, um, <clears throat> which is the lightness or darkness of a color, right? Either adding white to make a tint or black to make a shade. Um, we're gonna do it slightly different though, because we're gonna do this really beautiful fall sky with trees in front of it. So it's gonna be a two day lesson. So the first day we paint the sky and the whole page gets painted. And then the second day we go back and we add the grass on the ground and the trees once that paint is dried. But because it's a fall sky, it's gonna be yellow and orange. So we're kind of going to be using the yellow as the tint or the white, right? So it's gonna fade from like a light yellow to a yellow, then to a yellow orange, and then an orange. So the, there's not gonna be any black in this. Um, like a true value would be a color plus, um, a true shade would be a color plus black. We're not gonna do that. We're actually gonna use the orange as the darker color here. So it would be yellow plus orange or just straight orange as the shade. So you'll see more once I start. But basically I'm gonna start with a really light yellow. So I'm gonna take my white and just add a touch of yellow. And I know last week we did this with liquid paint. We're gonna use the dry temper cakes this time because um, they're just a little easier to use. So remember, you've got to add water. Every time you use paint for the temper cakes, you have to add water to it. So I'm going to add a little bit of water, get a little bit more white to make that lighter, and just do a circle in the middle of my page. It doesn't need to be perfect. Now, when I get water, I'm not actually going to clean my brush this entire time. I'm just dipping. I'm not swirling. Don't, don't get the paint off the brush. The goal is just to get water on the brush. So I'm just quickly dipping in, getting some water, bringing it over to my yellow, swirling on my yellow, and then I'm bringing that over here and doing that. Now that's a little dry, so I need more water. So I'm gonna dip in the water and just take my water, no paint, just water. I'm gonna swirl that to make that go a little further. I'm gonna add a little bit of white. Just go back and get some white. Make that a little lighter. Maybe a little more white. And I'm not cleaning my brush here. I'm mixing right on that temper cake. Okay, so I've kind of ruined this really pretty white circle in the middle. That's okay, I can go back and add that at the end once it's dry. Don't try and fix it now when it's wet because it will just keep getting more yellow. So now we've got light, light yellow kind of regular light yellow. And now I'm gonna do this straight yellow, no white. Okay, so water, dip in the water, bring that water over, get this paint really wet. The more I swirl, the more color I get on my brush. If I only swirl twice, it's gonna be really see-through yellow. If I swirl 10 times, it's gonna be darker yellow. So, yeah, that's really good. Go get more paint. Swirl a few times on that yellow. I'm gonna swirl a few more times on that yellow. Okay, now I'm gonna do my little water trick. Don't get any more paint. I'm just quickly dipping in the water and taking that water to make this paint go a little further. One more dip in water for this side dip and kind of swirl that paint around, push that around, push it out. Okay, now the next layer is gonna be orange and yellow. So I go over here I'm gonna dip in my water. I'm gonna get maybe 10 swirls of yellow and then maybe two, one, two of orange. And when I go and paint it, it's gonna be this nice kind of orangey yellow. I'm gonna do that again. So dip in my water, 10 swirls of yellow, two of orange. That one's a little more orange, that's okay. Just go get more yellow and add yellow on top. So if I make it too orange, just go back and only get yellow, don't get any orange on your brush, and just paint right on top of it. Now, I'm gonna dip in my water and try and smooth this out. So just using water, no paint, I'm kind of spreading, dip in the water, no paint, I'm kind of spreading this orangey yellow out and making it go a little further. 
Now notice I'm not doing back and forth like horizontal side to side brush strokes and I'm not doing up and down brush strokes. I'm always painting in a curved circle. That's because I want the sky to look like it's glowing out like the sun. So if I did side to side like this, it wouldn't look like that. It wouldn't look like the sky was slowly glowing. We do not want to do side to side brush strokes and we don't want to do up and down. We always want to go in a circle. Okay, now I've done really lots of white with a little bit of yellow. Med mixed, probably half and half, white and yellow. Straight yellow. Mostly yellow with a little bit of orange. Now we're going to do dip in, get two yellow, and then do three or four or five orange. So this is mostly orange. Okay? Uh, if that's too dark, grab a little more yellow. Put it on top. Okay, it shouldn't be straight orange at this point. It might look like it, but it's still got a little bit of yellow in it. So, dip in my water. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get some. Okay, same thing. My brush is a little dry. Get a little more water. Get a little more yellow. Get a little more orange. Go back. Now, I gotta smooth this out, don't I? So, what do I do? Do I get more paint? No. I just dip once quickly in the water and I get water on my brush and use that water to spread this around. Now I'm not cleaning my brush. I'm not wiggling it in the water. I'm not swiping it on the side. I'm just dipping it in and taking all that water that stays in my brush and moving it to my paper. Now also notice my paper is starting to get a little wrinkly. If I go over the same spot too many times, like if I keep going over this spot over, 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 it's gonna slowly rip a hole in my paper. The goal is to get the paint down and move it around and get it down quickly and then don't go back over it. So you can kind of see these little tiny, like right there, spots where paper is starting to come up. That means that paper is getting weak. I really don't wanna touch that again. I don't wanna go over it. By the way, there's a little stain on my paper. I'm gonna leave it. Who cares? We can cover it up with a tree. So if it's not perfect, like this isn't perfectly blended, that's okay. Okay, now we're just doing straight orange. So dip in the water, get orange, no yellow, just orange. And we're gonna do the corners and just orange. Okay, dip again. Remember, I'm curving my brush so it looks like that big circle keeps going, okay? Dip in the water, get some more orange. Every time I'm going to get more paint, what am I getting? Water on my brush. Because otherwise, your paint gets too dry and thick. You don't want thick paint. You want nice, runny, watery, workable paint, okay? Water. Now, if your paint starts to get soupy, like it's really, really wet, then you might not need to dip. If you're not sure, raise your hand. I'll come look at your paint. Okay. So, my whole paper is done. I've got it going from light yellow to orange yellow to orange. Everything's covered. It's the whole paper, all the way to the edges, is covered. I don't have any white anywhere on my paper. This is going to be my sky. So now I can take it very carefully with two hands and go slide it into the drying rack. Remember, we start at the bottom of the drying rack and we work up. Um, and then we can go back, put our, take our, once everyone at your table's done, get your brush, clean it this time, swirl, 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 swirl. Once you have a clean brush, let's go back and let's clean these paints. Remember, to clean your paints, you just keep cleaning your brush and going back and rubbing water over the paint. So that white looks a little, looks like it's a much cleaner now. Now I'm gonna clean my brush, clean my brush, go to the yellow, swirl it, dip in the water, swirl it, dip in the water, clean, swirl it. This time you are actually cleaning your brush. You are swirling in the water. There you go. Now my paints are clean, my paper's up to dry, and I'm ready to go, have my table leader bring my all the brushes over to the sink um, to wash them. This goes back on my paint and the paint gets carried over to the back counter. 
um, and we're ready for next week to go add in those trees.